What's up guys, we're back with probably the coolest collection I've ever bought, but before we get into that, the giveaway, I'll be giving away these three cards that we pulled from the Rise of Destiny first edition box. They're minty condition, so if you guys are interested in that, like the video, be subscribed, and let me know your favorite card from this collection. There's a lot of good ones to choose from. So the first couple things we have are some sealed stuff. I think this is sealed. I'm pretty sure if you open this, this card is in there. I'm not going to open it right now. You guys can let me know in the comments if there's a card in here. It looks like you can rip it down that way. And it kind of feels like there's a card in there, but I don't want to bend it up. It feels like it might be bent already anyway. Then we got a um, starter deck Joey. It's a little bit ripped. It's unlimited. But this will go perfectly with my Kaiba that Rhyme Style gave me for Christmas. So I kind of got some beat up Joey and beat up Kaiba Unlimited. So that's pretty cool to own. Then we got a tin uh, Zexel collection. Not sure what this is really, but he was, this was just a throw in. So I appreciate this. And then there's also the premium collection. So maybe eventually we'll open these up and we'll see what's in here. Some pretty cool stuff in there probably. Also, I just wanted to mention there is an Easter egg in this video, so keep your eyes out. Try to figure out what is, what's cool about this video. You might be able to see it on screen eventually. And let me know in the comments if you notice what I'm talking about. And by the end of the video, I'll let you guys know. Okay, the collection, let's get into the cards. These are just the commons and rares, I think. So we have Metal Raiders first edition. Wing Dragon, oh, where's the goat? Is the Pequeno Moth in here? And he will be because it's a full Metal Raiders first edition set minus three ultra rares. So we should have the Pequeno in here somewhere. So here's all these. Oh, there's the Grande Moth. Awesome. Kaminari Attack. Just check out this awesome set. Aki Beam. Ooh, nice. Magician of Faith. I bet some of, some of these might be like gradable and stuff. So I'm going to set aside the ones that I think are pretty good, like Magician of Faith. And obviously the Pequeno Moth it is. If they're centered commons for Metal Raiders, that's actually really good. See, look at that baby dragon. Terribly off center. Oh, the, oh, it's centered. Are we going to get a PSA 10? We're definitely grading that. But uh, yeah, Sagi, the Dark Clown, because a lot of those um, Metal Raiders commons and rares were way OC. If you guys remember our box, we had some way OC commons and rares, but we had centered hollows. So you'd rather have the hollows, but pretty interesting. Here's some more stuff. We got the MRD, Jurai Gumo, Princess of Shirugi, Candy Soldier. Oh, Thunder Dragon, that's a good one. Muka Muka, the Star Boy, Witch of the Black Forest, pull out all those good ones. Even the rares are worth quite a bit in first edition now, so pretty cool. And Skull Knight, gotta love that card, probably worth pulling out just because it's cool looking. Okay, next thing, here we go, we have something really cool. We have a super faded Blue Eyes White Dragon. This is not sun faded, they, they're just printed like this sometimes. Only specific sets and specific cards, but I've seen multiple Blue Eyes like this, so I know it's not sun faded. Here we go, check this card out. Wow, check that out. It looks insane. It's so faded. Wow. It's in pretty decent condition. I think it's like lightly played. But honestly, if you grade cards like this that are this faded, a lot of times they will not get good grades because they think they've been altered. The grading companies, they don't realize that this is how they come. Um, so they actually don't get very good grades, which is interesting. Sometimes. Sometimes they do get good grades. Sometimes they don't. All right, let's go over some more stuff. We have the SDJ and the Relinquished. Here are the foils from those decks. There's a super faded flute and a super faded Lord of D. Wow, that's crazy, Lord of D. Cy okay, and here's our um, Magic Ruler, not Metal Rage. Magic Ruler first edition set. This is an entire Magic Ruler set. So we have all the cards here. Wow, okay, can I talk? Yeah, there we go. <laughs> Number of Manga and UFO Turtle. Okay, that's, that's part of it. And here's the rest of the set. We got all these cards in here. If you guys like Magic Ruler, there's Hungry Burger, the Crab Turtle. Love to see those. Ryu Ran. We saw a lot of these recently in our 36-pack opening. You guys can check that out. There's an Upstart Goblin. It's nice. Toll. Hate that card. <laughs> if you guys have seen those uh, dueling videos. If you haven't seen those, go check them out. I have a playlist for the dueling videos. You can check that out. MRL was in it, and it was crazy. This this glare is killing me. There we go. That's a little better. Water Emotics with the shirt on instead of with the shirt off, like in the Japanese one. All right, now we get into the crazy stuff, guys. This is pretty awesome. So let's just go, um, let's go like one, maybe a couple at a time. So we have Slifer the Sky Dragon. That's a GBI secret rare. If you guys see that, this is a Game Boy promo, a very early release. The original was the secret rare, and then they did an ultra rare printing as well. So the secret rares are the ones that are worth the most. So this is a really cool card, Slifer. We also have the Winged Dragon of Roth from the same game. You could get the game and it had all three. So here you go. All three GBI Secret Rare promos. These have gone way up recently. They used to be like 250 for PSA 10s for like a couple years. And now they're like a couple thousand or even more for a PSA 10. So it's pretty cool to get these. 
And yeah, but maybe we'll get maybe we'll get two sets of them. That's that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Or, or maybe we'll get three sets of them. How about three sets? How about three sets of GBI? Is that enough God cards? Or should we get maybe five extra Obelisk and Raw? How about we do that? So overall, that's a ton of GBI Secret Rare God cards. So that is really cool. We picked all those up. I think some of them are gradable. So we're going to send in the ones that are. I don't have a set right now. So it'd be really cool to get a set of those. So that's the first thing. That's pretty cool. Next, we have a Faded Summoned Skull. Yeah. First edition Metal Raiders. Check that out. Talk about nice. Okay, let's let's pull it out because it's Summon Skull. We got to pull it out. Okay, now this is where I'm worried. Will they dock for this card being a little bit faded? I mean, just look at the surfaces though. I mean, if that's not a PSA 10, I don't I don't know what it is. That's pretty nice condition. It's just the coloring I'm worried about that they'll think, oh, that's not a, that's you know been altered or something like that, and not give it a 10. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go ahead and put our tabs on there because we're definitely subbing this card. Subbing this to PSA, even though it's going to be back a while, I and mean, we're definitely going to send this one express because of you know how valuable it is, etc. But hopefully they don't dock it for that. But this would be an extremely cool faded PSA 10 card. That's crazy. All right, check it out. The meme himself. Look at that horn of heaven. Look how faded it is. It's almost gray. That is so awesome. So we picked up that. We're not going to take too much time on these random ones like horn of heaven. That's a meme. We have Kazijin. There we go. Pretty nice. All these are in pretty nice condition. Some are better than others. Not all are perfectly mint like that Summon Skull, but some are. So, and then there's a lot of stuff on these sleeves and stuff, but Kazijin. Harpy Lady Sisters. Nice card. Sangha of the Thunder. This one's less faded. See, it's got a little bit of its color there. A little bit of its color. And how did they get faded? Uh, it's just a lot of theory, like Part of the color didn't go in and when they printed it. And mostly it's Metal Raiders. There is some in the SDK you saw. LOB has a few cards. Uh, I think maybe like just a few of the early sets had it. But mostly Metal Raiders is where you see the faded cards. It, it's pretty consistent that you can find faded Metal Raiders cards. Not this faded though. This is a lot. Here we go. Suijin. That's a cool one. These cards look absolutely crazy because they're so faded. Hey look. A Heavy Storm. It's not faded. <laughs> Regular old Heavy Storm. That's pretty nice. Twin ended Thunder Dragon, like light purple. That's cool. Guys, this is nuts. Look at the name. It's almost gone. It's almost, we got to check this one out. This one is almost, the name is literally almost gone. That looks crazy. That's pretty good condition, but I feel like because the name looks like that, there's almost no way we get a good grade. Probably going to try it anyway, but that is a crazy looking card. Gate Guardian. That is pretty sick. The name is nuts. Yeah, that's super weird. So really cool card, really cool card. We'll probably try to grade it. All right, then we have the Seven Tools of the Bandit. That's a nice card. Faded MRD. Pretty nice. Thousand Dragon. So this one also is kind of missing the name. Secret Rare. Pretty nice. B skull dragon. So we got another B skull. I sold two of my three B skulls, so I would only have one left. And we got another one. So I think this one is actually really, really good condition based on what I remember. So we might end up with another 10. This one's more faded though. Not crazy faded like the others, but still more faded. Here's a fan favorite, the change of heart. I mean, a really, really nice looking card. A lot less faded than the others though, but that's okay. We're not, we're not all about the faded. I mean, I like it, but I don't necessarily care. Here's a really cool one. I would love if we got a 10 on this one. I've never owned a 10 of Mirror Force. I'm missing, I think I have, I have a few 10s. I have a B-Skull, a Magic Jammer, and a Karibo. I think those are my PSA 10s. Oh, and Summon Skull. I have four of the Hollows graded in PSA 10. So if we can get some more 10s, that'd be crazy. Oh, look, we got a Magic Ruler card. We got Maha Vilo. Nice super rare. We like that. We've got a Karibo. This is a very faded one compared to my, my, regular, my regular one. It's just normal, not faded. Ooh, this one's cool. Barrel Dragon. Oh my goodness. Look at that name. That name it like blends in almost. That's really cool. That one's way OC though. We've got Garnesia Elephantis. That's a nice looking card. I like that fade. It looks good. Yeah, this, this is on the sleeve. Tribute to the Doomed. A little bit faded. A little bit faded. I'm going to go over all these later and see what I'm going to sub and what I'm not. Oh, here's a cool one. Not one, but two Blue Eyes Tune Dragons. This one's a little bit more faded. You see that? It's lighter than that one. I think one of these has a binder ding in it, of, of course, you know, naturally. What's a collection without a binder ding? 
But uh, the other one's a little bit better, so that's pretty nice. MRL Secret Rare, that's really cool. Megamore First Edition, take that, that's nice. Confiscation. Ooh, MST, we pulled this in our box break. Check that video out, that was crazy. First Edition MST. Ooh, the Serpent Night Dragon First Edition. That's a nice card. I think this one was not a 10. Check out that name. Is that double stamped? What is this? Is that a double stamp name? Let me know, guys. If you guys know about double stamp, I think that looks double stamped to me, which is pretty cool. A lot of people like that. Acts of Despair First Ed. Oh, here's, here's coming a big one. We have the Relinquished First Edition Magic Ruler. That's cool. I would definitely want to get a 10 of that. I still don't own one of those. Messenger of Peace First Ed. Cool. Delinquent Duo. Yeah, Magic Ruler is a cool set, but it just doesn't compare to MRD. MRD is so nice. Toon Summon Skull. This is one of the better ones from Magic Ruler for sure, though. That's awesome. The best super in the set, the Toon World, in my opinion. There's, there's also some strong supers. The Toon Mermaid. It's a nice card. Spellbinding Circle. That one's like turned all the way in the card saver. Giant Trunade. Yeah, this is, this is a crazy collection, guys. Banisher of the Light. Forceful Sentry, first dead. Snatch Steel, first dead. I mean, they're all first dead. I don't know why I'm saying that. <laughs> Just for emphasis. And Black Losing Ritual. Black Pendant. We pulled this one as well in the video. We pulled two of these, the Painful Choice. And an Invader of the Throne. So that's it. That's the whole collection. We bought an entire first edition Magic Ruler set. Almost a complete Metal Raider set with a lot of faded cards, like a ton of God cards. That was pretty awesome. We got the faded blue eyes. I mean, I'm so excited about grading some of these cards and what we're not going to grade, we're going to put into probably a binder. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you didn't notice the Easter egg. Is that a first edition Magician's Force box? I dare say it is. So... This box will be open this Saturday. So here's the here's the thing about the announcement. It was sold to me, or it was sent to me. And this flap right here has people questioning, is it resealed? I'm going to open it. When I open it, I'm going to determine, obviously, is it resealed, is it not? If it's not resealed, I'm going to buy it. I've already agreed on a price for it. If it is resealed, I don't have to pay for it. So that way I'm not going to get, you know, in some crazy, like, refund thing. If it's fake or if it's resealed, I'm good. If it's not, we pay a lot of money for it. So it's going to be very expensive. This Saturday, we're not even making it a special, guys. I don't know why I'm insane, but I keep making these openings just for random Saturday openings. So I hope you guys are excited for that. First edition Magician's Force has not been open on YouTube since 2018. That's three years. This is going to be crazy. Please, Dark Magician Girl, please be in there. We have to make up for that Cybernetic Revolution opening. So I hope you enjoyed the collection and the special announcement. I want to know if you guys saw it before I announced it. That's it for this video. It was pretty awesome, and it's going to be awesome on Saturday. I'll see you guys later. Peace. Oh! Yes. Oh. Elemental Hero, Dark Bright. Boom! Oh! <laughs>